Hi, everyone, and welcome to our blog. I am Jim Cuervo, Senior Trainer and Support here at Digital Drafting Systems. The following is an excerpt from our webinar on what is new in AutoCAD 2024. Please do not hesitate to drop us a line should you have any questions. Enjoy our presentation. Have a great day. Going to be the smart block improvements. We have now a, an ability to place blocks in a very um, consistent way. Sometimes we want to rotate them. Sometimes we want to um, uh, flip them, mirror them, whatever it is, um, um, line them up to specific points. Okay. All of those things are being tracked nowadays, uh, and not only for the placement, but also for replacements. But here is where it's much, much more evident. Okay, and what is it that I'm saying? Tracking. What, what, what am I? What are you talking about, Jim? What, what I'm talking about is the actual implementation of an Autodesk AI. We're talking about auto, uh, uh, um, um, artificial intelligence here that is being uh, actually uh, uh, introduced into AutoCAD. So why don't we go ahead and see how that actually works? Okay, let's go ahead and close this one. Save changes. No to this. Let's go to the open up one so we can go to the block placement select our drawing and here is our block placement the block that we're going to be using to study this is going to be this particular one which happens to be if i select it and i right click on it and go to the properties it's going to be called desk three interestingly enough there's an icon next to desk, desk three you see that in the on the miscellaneous name there's an icon it's called replace now that's interesting we'll look at that later Okay, so we this is the um, desk three, right? So let's go ahead into insert. I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this for now. And let's go into insert and we'll go ahead into uh, blocks and here's my block, okay? This is desk three. Now it's been tracking how we place desk three in the environment that we want to place it in. So let's go ahead and select it. Now I want you to see some things that are happening, some orange things that are happening, you ready? Here it goes. You see those? You see how it automatically switches it? And it looks just like the placement that we had above, except oriented in the reverse. And I click. So that's a single placement. What happens if I want to repeat the placement? Hmm. Can we do it? Well, actually, yes. If I come over here and I select the very same block that we're looking at, and I, I need to populate these three offices, right? Or cubicles, rather. I hit the repeat first right there. By hitting the repeat first, okay, I said it, tell it yes to replace the options and look at this. Click once and it continues to allow me to place additional blocks of the same type that I just placed when I hit the repeat. Okay, it's not go ahead and repeat placement uh, and, and you can choose anyone. No, it's the same one that you're using. Basically, it's the repetitive placement of the same block that you are being uh, able to repeat. Okay, so that's what really it's talking about. Let's take a look at this whole thing a little bit more in depth by going over here and saying open this blocks and blocks favorites because the next step that we're going to look at has a, def a direct effect here. Let's go ahead into the favorites. Let's open it up. Let's select the libraries. Hey, by the way, um, before I continue, and the reason I'm actually using the libraries is because there's something that is interesting and that's going to happen when we do the replacement. But if we look at the dialog box here for the block placement, the reason why it's allowing me to automatically place it is because this has been invoked here, auto placement. By invoking this, that's how you actually get this. Interestingly enough, the repeat is selected here, but it didn't allow us to do it here. And, and, and it's because it's not really meant for these automatic items. It's actually, I believe, it's meant for the placement of some of the items that you might uh, grab from the library that is here, okay, rather than repetitive items. Uh, uh, that's what I believe. Um, either way, let's go ahead and take a look at replacement. I'm going to select this icon, this uh, chair here in the computer. I want to replace those two. So I'm going to come over here to the replace icon. But wait a minute. It doesn't do anything. If I look at the options, it's giving me a message. There it is. The selection set contains different blocks definition. 
So we can safely say then that when you're actually going to replace any blocks using the, the multiple replace, or, or, or I'm going to call this batch replace, okay? When you're going to use this particular option, you need to have the blocks that you select to be the same. What do I mean by that? What I mean by that is this. If I select this icon and I select this one and this one and this one, when I come back to replace, and by the way, I can do it replace through the uh, dialog box for insertion, or I can do the replace through the properties dialog box replace. If I click it here, I get the dialog box. And the first thing that hits me right in the face, let me just go ahead and close this out for a second, just because I, I need to see this. I'm gonna just, rather than use the uh, properties one, let's go ahead and use the one here in the inserts. And let's take a look at what we're looking at. Okay, here it is. It's telling me that the suggested blocks are empty. And it's saying that, you know, your library or the library that you have actually path to this particular drawing is pretty much, there's much not much there. Okay. I, I have some theories, but the, I, I'm, I'm going to... Um, Think a little bit more about the theories and maybe create a blog about this. Uh, how do you actually get this to come up here? And we'll see that later. Okay, or not later, but eventually we'll put up a blog that will do that. But for now, what I want you to see is that I'm, I've got these selected and I need to select a block. I'm going to use a recent block. I know that this happens to be a chair. Okay, so I'm going to use this one to replace it. It's actually a 3D chair, so it's going to be a little bit dense. So let's go ahead and use this one, which is a two, two line, uh, two D chair, and it automatically replaces it. You'll notice that the insertion point is actually respected. Okay, very interesting. Uh, if you want to uh, position it and all that other stuff, uh, it might be a good idea for you to go ahead and make sure that all of your chairs are going to be placed the same way, so you don't have this particular problem of having to rotate and stuff like that. It might be a, a. I think it's it's actually a good organizational skill for the for the for your libraries. Now that I think about it a little bit more, okay. So this is how you actually now know how to place drawings using the AI from Autodesk and replace multiple drawings in the same uh, dialog box in the same sections. Now remember that the replace is also available in the properties. You just need to make sure that all of your blocks that you're replacing are the same name. 